So let's get started. First things first, and showing you guys the supplies that I use for my centerpieces. Um, back there are some tea lights that I purchased from Amazon. Um, but the quick water, the greenery, everything I'm showing here was all purchased from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Um, briefly, if you guys just go back and pause it, the blue quick water that you guys saw sucks really bad. You actually have to microwave that. So I didn't use that. I actually returned that for the other uh, quick water. So now we're going to go ahead and take the greenery that we have and we're going to go ahead and uh, group them together what I did is I just uh, put everything in a vase for my cousin as you can see she's taking everything out and then she's gonna go ahead and rearrange it so me on the back end I'm taking what flowers I wanted and what greenery I wanted and then I would stuff it in a vase and then I'll give it to her and then my cousin will go ahead and arrange uh, the 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 greenery and the flowers i don't know what the the term is for it but that's exactly what she's doing right here um and we're just basically freestyling it on how we want um it to look she kept looking at it i kept looking at it we wanted it to be nice and full um, and very tropical ish because that was the theme that we were going for Now, once the centerpieces are done, we're gonna go ahead and use the quick water. Um, there's two different types that you saw in the beginning, one in the purple pack, one in the pink pack, um, but they're both the same thing. They were just purchased at different stores. Um, inside the box comes with uh, part A and part B. I had to use one box per uh, vase. Um, so just keep in mind that it does not fill up. It's only six ounces that you're getting. Um, so I did have to purchase 10, but the way that I saved money is um, my cousin would go to Michael's and she would use the 50% off coupon. Um, so it'll be her and her sister. And then I, myself and my, uh, my mother-in-law will go and do the same thing. And then also in Hobby Lobby, use that 40% off coupon. Um, and that's how we saved money with the 10 of them because I think they're about $13 each. So after mixing the quick water together, um, my cousin goes ahead and she puts the flowers back into the vase. You do have some time um, before it settles in, so you can go ahead and rearrange it before it dries. So here again, I'm just showing you guys, I'm mixing part A and part B together, and then I'm gonna stir the mixture together, stir it really slow so there's no bubbles, and then we're gonna go ahead and just put the flowers back in. Next is going to be my signs. I'm going to be using this vinyl from Cricut to do my guess the due date sign. Um, the mat that I have here, I purchased from Hobby Lobby using their 40% off coupon. I would definitely advise you to do that um, versus getting it from Walmart, um, from Cricut's uh, actual website, or even Michael's because Michael's doesn't give you a discount on Cricut supplies. So that's just a great tip for you to, to save on money. And the mat, it comes with two mats. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add my vinyl onto my mat. I'm going to use the Cricut app on my iPad to go ahead and create um, my title for my guest due date. Um, I was due to have the baby on December 7th, but as you guys know, babies do not come the day your due date. So I thought that was a quick fun game to, to do and also really cool to put up in her nursery. After going ahead and uh, arranging it the way I wanted, I'm going to go ahead and put my mat in the Cricut machine so that it can cut. Um, besides the mat, the machine that I'm using is the Cricut Explorer 2. Um, all the accessories, um, like I said, besides the mat um, came with the Cricut machine. I purchased the starter pack. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'll link it below. I'll link again everything below so you guys can see where everything that I used in this video was purchased from. Um, after printing, then I'm going to go ahead and peel the vinyl off and then we're going to go ahead and weed it. Um, if you're new to uh, vinyl, um, I would definitely suggest to waste, <laughs> not waste, not waste, not waste um, any of the vinyl. Um, people who are in the vinyl community and like to make stuff with um, HTV, which is heat transferred vinyl or just regular adhesive vinyl like the one I'm using here, knows that you do not waste your vinyl because it's really expensive. So that's what I'm doing right there. I'm just cutting the vinyl that has not been used and I'm gonna use that for other stuff for my boards. But here I'm doing a method that's called weeding. And what that means is you're pulling the vinyl off of the actual paper um, and then you can put the transfer paper on top to stick down to whatever you're sticking it to, if that makes sense. Um, but I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. 
Um, definitely take your time when you're weeding. It, it is a lot of work, but definitely take your time so that you're not messing up what you cut or what the Cricut cut for you. Next, I'm gonna work on my welcome sign. I purchased this, uh, this picture frame from Walmart. Um, it's a 16 by 20 picture frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, work with my Cricut app with my welcome sign. So one mat is gonna say welcome, and then the other signs, uh, the other mat is going to say the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna do the same thing, adding my vinyl onto my mat and then loading it in and making sure that it's cut. Another tip, I don't know if I said this before, is when you're laying your vinyl, just make sure that it's nice and flat with no air bubbles because you just don't want your cutting to look kind of wonky. Now, one thing I did was um, I when I was making my welcome part um, with the vinyl, it didn't look good, so I had to redo that with different vinyl. Um, so you're gonna see my outfit is gonna change because I had to purchase more vinyl. Um, if you can see in the back, my roll was empty. So I had to purchase more vinyl off of Amazon. So this is me uh, with the new vinyl, which I actually really like over the vinyl that I purchased from Cricut. And it was way cheaper and you get so much more in a row. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom portion of it. As you can see, I'm just really trying to make this uh, vinyl lay flat on the, um, the cutting mat. Um, so I would definitely recommend this vinyl. So I'm gonna put this link below over the Cricut one. And then I'm gonna let that load as well. Now, once my mat is done um, printing, now it's time to weed everything. Always when you're taking your vinyl off, um, flip it upside down and peel it off. It's just easier to get your vinyl off that way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just weed. Um, like I said, the reason why I like this Amazon one, not only do you get way more vinyl in a row, but it was so much easier for me to weed um, the vinyl off of the adhesive or the paper in the back. It was just so much simpler than what I had before. So I definitely will recommend it. So that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, weeding it, which is so, oh my gosh, it's so calming to do. Uh, calming, not like common. I'm sorry, my Brooklyn accent. Calming. <laughs> I can't really say it. It sounds like I'm saying common, um, but it's very relaxing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just weed that off. Next, I'm gonna take the back frame off of it and I'm gonna just use the glass only and I'm gonna go ahead and stick the vinyl onto the glass. Um, this transfer paper, I love so much. It's not super, super, um, sticky so you can constantly use it all the time um, but here I made the mistake of putting the transfer paper onto my vinyl too fast so therefore my vinyl was super wrinkled and I was really upset but I learned my lesson um, with the other one so I definitely asked my cousin to help me out the second time around so as you can see the transfer paper is really wrinkled and then when I peel it off you can see that my welcome um, vinyl just literally was wrinkled also I tried to use the little spatula that was there um, to just lay down flat but it just didn't work so when I put down the other part of the sign I asked my cousin to help me out with it just so that I don't make that mistake again so as you can see she's gonna come over there and she's gonna help me and then we're just gonna smooth the transfer paper onto the vinyl so when working with big signs definitely see if you can get help especially if you're an amateur like myself so that everything is nice and neat and then the paper in the back of that picture frame, I'm gonna use that as a nice little line so that I know that the two, um, the shower honoring part um, is nice and straight. So I'm gonna peel that back and then you're gonna notice that the blue paper behind the glass is gonna be a little bit lower. I use that as um, a guide to just make sure that it was straight. Again, with my cousin's assistance, we're gonna go ahead and just smooth it down so that there's no wrinkles. This transfer paper, like I said, it's amazing. You can literally just lay it down and peel it up without having to like smooth it into the glass. It was just amazing. And this is the final look on what the welcome sign looked like. We used an easel. Um, we taped the easel up and then we put a couple of flowers on the top. So that's what the welcome sign looked like. 
Next, we're gonna do the guest to due date. So you saw me already do the top part. Now um, I'm gonna put a calendar there. So I created the calendar in Photoshop and then I imported it into the Cricut app and then I printed it out on my mat. And then right here, I'm just weeding off um, the excess vinyl. This part was kind of tedious because the letters are so small. So trying to get all of the vinyl inside like the little circles was just really annoying, um, but we got it done. And with the calendar being so big, I definitely got assistance from my cousin to help me use the transfer paper onto it, make sure I measured it really good. Um, and then she helped me lay it down really flat. And then um, see, so we're smoothing it out and then we're gonna go ahead and transfer it. Um, I'm using a poster board that I purchased off, uh, purchased from Hobby Lobby. And in the Cricut app, what I did is I got some bees and some honeycombs from Google and I went ahead and used my scrap paper uh, to go ahead and do the combs and the beads. This is me just writing down what each piece is. So combs, beads, and things like that. And then I'm gonna lay it down on my mat and then I'm gonna go ahead and print that out as well. Um, this whole process took me about three days to do. So just make sure you have, you know, your drinks with you and some music playing. We had some music playing and just have some fun with it. Um, it's it's a lot of work, but it's it's. I like the way the outcome is. I like doing everything myself because you actually save money <laughs> doing it yourself. So after everything is printed out, we're gonna go ahead and transfer everything onto the poster board. Um, like I stated again, the poster board I purchased from Hobby Lobby, and then my cousin's gonna help me. See, I was gonna do it myself, but then I was just like, you know what? Maybe I need help. So my cousin came over to help me just line it up really good. And then we laid it flat and then we just peeled that transfer paper off. And look at how easy the transfer paper just peeled right off. Look at that. So easy. Next, I'm gonna go and add the honeycombs to it. As you can see, I already added my bees, so I'm just gonna add my honeycombs uh, to it just to go with the what will it be theme and the tropical theme. So that's what I'm doing here. And my cousin's putting on Snapchat. <laughs> and that's the final look for the guest to due date. Last but not least, I did purchase my own tablecloths. I didn't wanna rent it out because it's just, in my area, it was just really hard finding a place to rent out tablecloths. So I ended up purchasing my own tablecloths off of Amazon as well. Um, I did some square ones. I think I had 10 square tables and two long rectangle tables. So I did iron it out. And then here I go, I'm gonna just jump into this clip right here. All right, so here we go. So what I did is I used my backdrop and then a tripod in the middle. Um, so we have a total of 12 uh, tablecloths that were ironed. My cousins helped out and my niece helped out. And then I finished the last eight, I believe. So that's there. Um, there's gonna be a dent in the middle, but that's where the center pieces are gonna be. So that's totally fine. I realized that I got lazy on this one, but we'll have plates and stuff like that covering it. So it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Plus, I think there might be some wrinkles when we actually transport <laughs> these uh, tablecloths over to the venue. And then over here, um, there's a lot of things that I didn't capture on camera because my camera got full with memory on my iPhone. Um, so this is for our backdrop. So over here, you can see that I have blue and pink there. So for this backdrop, which is sized perfectly, we're going to put um, some pink and blue and then people will take pictures with their predictions on what the baby will be. So that's there. And then there's some other stuff that I purchased um, from Sam's Club. So the water was purchased from Sam's Club. We have some to-go plates, 125 to-go plates from Sam's Club. Um, you got these, I purchased these from uh, Party City. Um, so it goes with my theme. So we have the utensils, Amazon. We have the napkins, Amazon. In here is just the rest of the greenery that we're gonna use. We have two long tables at the venue. Um, so the greenery would be there. Um, this is my air machine that I purchased from Amazon to do the balloon garland. And then that box right there is my smoke 
to reveal the gender. Um, so we have that there. Um, then we have some more centerpieces. And then we recently added a candy bar. So we purchased the candy from Walmart. I'm so sorry, I'm out of breath. So we purchased that from Walmart. We also purchased the to-go bags from Walmart. This candy is from Party City. Um, these jars are from Family Dollar and then my cousin uh, spray painted it. It got a little messed up, but it's whatever. These were purchased from Party City. This was purchased from Family Dollar and we spray painted it. So the pretzels are gonna go in here. Um, and then we also have some serving some serving stuff to scoop. I don't know where that is. Um, and then these right here are gonna go inside here so people can pick up their predictions. It's really cute, I really like this. <laughs> I really like it. So it's just different things. And if you're wondering where did the bees come from, so I have a tropical theme and my cake says, what will it be since it is a gender reveal? Um, don't know what's in here. I don't know what's in there, but that's basically it. And then in the baby's room, we have the blue balloons blown up already. We're gonna blow up some more, but we just wanted to get a jump start on it. Obviously, I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then in the corner here, I left all the centerpieces in the bedroom because I feel like out there, since we don't have furniture, that it could collect more dust. So we just put um, most of the centerpieces here. Um, and they're good to go. So that's what we've done so far. I do apologize that I haven't gotten a chance to show everything. I didn't realize that a lot of my stuff um, stopped recording, which is just stress, but I'm jumping back in just to show you guys where we are with it. Last but not least, we go ahead and we're going to do the balloon garland as I showed you in the clip before. We already pre-blown the balloons and we put them in garbage bags just so that it's easier for us to assemble. What I did is I purchased a set from Amazon that came with this string right here. Um, not really a string, but this little thingy thing right here. As you can see, there's a big hole and there's a small hole. So basically what you do is after you blow up your balloon and you tie it, you push the end of the balloon into the big portion and then after that, you lock it in place into the smaller portion. So that's basically what my cousins are doing. You can skip holes if you want, it all depends. Once you start doing it, it starts getting a little bit tighter. Um, so that's what we were doing. We were going ahead and just adding the balloons to that plastic that came with it. I used two packs from Amazon and then I purchased some extra gold balloons um, from Amazon as well. Um, some of the balloons, as you can tell on the floor, did shrink um after a while but that's totally fine because with the balloon garland you need to have different sizes so i did take advantage of the smaller balloons and did stick them so they have different sizes this whole process took about an hour after the balloons are blown up um, we actually did this a week before so on sunday is when we actually put the balloons together and it actually held up the day of the shower and this is basically what the after looks like so this is the final result. So as soon as you walked in, you saw the welcome sign. It looked really nice and beautiful. Um, then when you walk in, you'll see my fail of my boy girl um, backdrop that I had. I really didn't like the way it turned out. But the tables looked amazing. Um, the centerpiece looks really good. The tablecloth looked really good. Uh, the utensils I purchased from Amazon looked really good. Um, I was really happy with it. On your top left, you're gonna see two long tables. So I had 10 square tables, two long rectangles, Time t tangle tables um so i think it looked pretty good um here's my sister with the hat my cousin with the the blush on uh, my sister in the stripe and then my aunt came out <laughs> and then we have my dessert table so the cupcakes my sister purchased from Publix the cupcake stand is from Amazon my baker did what will it be a uh, cake and then here's my little um dessert bar it's, it was really small um, my cousin borrowed a Polaroid camera from a friend, so we also took Polaroids, and then you're gonna see the guest to due date. Um, this wall was supposed to be where the balloon garland was, but it, the balloons kept popping against that, so we ended up putting the balloon garland across the door, which actually worked out pretty well, even though a lot of balloons popped. Here's the gender reveal.
I just loved my family's reaction because a lot of them swore that I was having a boy, um, except for my sister who's wearing the gray hat. Um, she, she knew it was a girl from the jump. But I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank Eloise and Abis and my, uh, my niece Sharon for helping out. Here's my family right here, my sisters and my mom. I want to thank everybody for showing up and thank you for watching. And if you didn't know, um, I do have some videos about my fibroid and my pregnancy journey. So make sure you check those out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.